Hi everyone, I'm Chris, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a look at a bit of gear that's a little bit different from the norm. This is the Patrol Instant Gear Armour Kit Bag that I picked up recently from uh, SKD Tactical. They actually, had a, they actually had a sale on the Cody Brown version that I've got here. It was like a third off or something like that, so I was like, yeah, I'll be going for one of them. Now the the name, pretty self-explanatory really, it is a, it's a bag specifically designed to carry your body on. The, the issue being that um, there's a lot of guys out there, they rely on you know, expensive ceramic plate armour to protect you know, their life. There's never been something specifically designed to carry that armour and protect it and look after it. So that's where the AKB comes in. Now, Patrol Instant Gear, so it's a brand that's exclusive to SKD Tactical. Um, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll put the link down in the description. Like I say, the, the name is pretty self-explanatory. It carries your your armor, but there's a lot of there's a lot of design work come into this bag. It's it's a, you know it, they haven't just sewn a big slab of cordura together. They've you know they've put the time and effort into this thing. So I'm gonna move the camera around and take a bit of a closer and look at it. Okay, then. So starting off on the front of the armor kit bag, we'll, we'll we'll go from the bottom first. Now what they've done around the base of it here is they've created a, there's a pouch on the inside of the bag and there's a quarter inch of enclosed cell foam all around the base of the bag here. Now that's obviously to protect your plates in the event you you should drop the bag with your armour in it. Um, obviously still not advisable to drop the bag of course because you don't want to be dropping ceramic plates but having that foam there is going to help protect your plates from, uh, from being damaged by that impact. So it's a sort of a, a trough of foam and it's into the bag in, in that sort of fashion, all the way across a big like bucket of stuff. So that's, gonna, that's a you know very good start. Overall construction is made of 500 denier cordura, which is going to be plenty tough enough for you know baggage type use. This isn't an item you're going to carry into combat, and obviously it saves a few ounces compared to using a thousand denier, which probably would have cost more. It would have been harder to manufacture, and you know, it just would have been a bit of overkill, really. Uh, moving up, we've got three stash pockets near the top here. Fair size, you can fit a couple of magazines in them. Would have perhaps been nice to have some Velcro along there so you could secure what's ever inside them. But I think as long as you keep the bag in, you know, in a vertical orientation, they're not gonna, you're not going to spill your gear. We've got a see-through you got a transparency panel here, just to put your, your name and your details, that's got a velcro seal along the top. Now the handles themselves, these, these have been really well designed I think, and certainly in terms of the strength. It's actually one continuous strip of one inch webbing material, and it's, as you can see if I bring it a bit closer here, they've not skimped on the sewing. There's plenty of extra stitching going in there, and basically the handle starts and it the material runs all the way, it's all sewn, goes all the way around the back, goes inside, comes out again on the other handle, goes all the way back around, goes back down and it's like one continuous sort of little webbing, goes all the way down like that. So there's only one actual break, obviously you can't create a continuous loop of the webbing, but there's only one point where it's sewn together, other than that it's one single strip going to be extremely strong. I would have perhaps preferred either maybe one and a half inch or possibly some sort of a padding on the handle or if, you, um, if you're familiar with a lot of baggage items they'll have um, one handle will be plain and then another one will have like a wrap of that has uh, like a rectangular material and then it has two bits of corresponding velcro that you've wrapped and holds the two handles together make it a bit easier if you're carrying a heavy load inside the bag but you're probably not going to have to be carrying this for very extended periods anyway so plus there's other options out there but we'll discuss that in a minute. Flipping it over. Now first thing I should point out these shoulder straps these are the, the Patrol Instant Gear Mark 1 shoulder straps. They, they can be used with other gear items from Patrol Instant Gear apart from the armor kit bag um, but they are an optional extra you do have to pay Few dollars more to get these but they are very well designed in terms of how they integrate into the bag they attach on the onto these loops up here 
and again you've got plastic D-rings down at the bottom on either side. The actual D-rings themselves can stow away inside this pouch. You see, you can see it where they tuck away just in there. And you can actually, if you want to store the straps themselves away, once they are attached, you unclip that, you put the strap inside, stow this end of the strap back through this hole, and then you clip it back together again inside this section here. I'm going to leave them on the outside just for the purposes of this video. Other than that, fairly plain on the back, you've got one large storage pouch. Like so. And this is designed for basically you can put a load of like a sleeping bag, some uh, fleece, some insulated thermal layers, just stuff that all in there. It's just plain on the inside. You can also see where the actual carrying handle itself, where the weather strap carries on on the inside of it. That's it. Nice, very heavy duty zip on there. Nice big chunky metal actual zip balls themselves. Paracord loops. Just open it up. A nice big opening like that so you can get really good access. Here's your, uh, here's your quarter inch enclosed foam bucket, it's all in the bottom inside like so. There's your pig label, all made in the US. Inside the top, part, on one half of the bag here, you've got a storage flap for your, for your helmet. Clips on there, adjustable in size, depending on the size of helmet you have, and the type. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it for the inside. So again, what I'll do, I'll move the camera around. I've got a few plate carriers here just to demonstrate the actual storage of your armor. All right, so we'll start off small. First spear strand hog here, left all the pouches on them. Just to show how to work. Obviously, this is a, this is a low profile, lightweight plate carrier. And you can tell right away, you're not going to have any problems putting that in there. It only comes up to here. You've got all this space. All this space up top, you can put your belt rig in there. You've definitely got space to store, to use that helmet storage option. It's also got enough width, you can probably put things down on the inside. You can definitely leave things in the, inside the pouches of your plate carrier or whichever arm you want to use it. So take out the strand hook, put that to one side. Take it up a step. This is a, a Warrior Assault Systems DCS, this is equivalent sort of size to an LBT 6094. Got some just some foam representative plates, as it were, on the inside. More of an idea of uh, you know, so storing a fully rigged out armor carrier inside the kit bag. Again, stands in there nicely. If you, if you want to get to your, your helmet in there, it's not going to be a problem. We've got all this space up the top here when everything's rigged up to put, as I say, your helmet, put a, put a belt line rig, um, some extra clothes. We've still got all that storage space in this back pouch here. So that's all good. Again, slightly bigger. Warrior Recast Compact. This is basically the size of an Eagle Kelly plate carrier. Taller than the other two options we've seen so far. And again, it comes up to here, so you've got all that space above. Still going to be able to fit your helmet, still going to be able to fit a belt line in there, still enough space in the bag. And there we go. I do, I do recommend the shoulder straps because that means you can carry it as a backpack. The problem I find is because this thing is so big and you get so much space on the inside, if you do carry it like so um, by your side, it's going to, well, it's going to depend how tall you are, obviously, but it, it could drag along the floor unless you sort of, unless you kind of, like you, you carry it like hiking up your elbow when you carry it. So, 
that wouldn't be very comfortable to having to carry something with your, with your elbow in that kind of position for an extended amount of time. So recommend the shoulder straps, they don't cost a great deal more, very good addition, you can use them on other bits of patrol distant gear equipment. Very well stitched throughout, of course, as you'd expect from, from patrol distant gear, SKD they always make great stuff. As I say, if you want to pick one of these up, I will put the link down in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, uh, I appreciate it, really good, as always, cheers for the subs, I'll see you next time.